Hi, it's Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. One of the questions I get asked the most is how do I create a file that people can download from my website? How do I link to that download? Well, I'm going to show you that in this video. You'll find it's extremely simple. So what I've done in this demo website is I've created a page that you might call a thank you page. In fact, I even named it thanks. So this is thanks.html. That's the page you're looking at right now. This is the page that someone would come to, say, after they purchased an ebook. So, you know, you might have an advertisement for a book. They click a PayPal button, and your PayPal link sends them to the thank you page or the download page. Well, that's what this page would represent, assuming you're selling your book. Of course, you don't have to. This is just how you would make, you know, a link to a book. It could be a book you're giving away. Or maybe this is a page you've sent them to after they've opted into your subscriber form. Uh, and then this is your little thank you gift for, um, you know, thanks for opting in, here's your free book, or whatever. The point is, you need to have a page where the download link will live, and then that link will link to the file you want them to download. And it's all pretty simple. So what I've done is I've created two pieces of text here. Here, thanks for purchasing my ebook, or whatever you want to say. And then you would have a link to the download. Okay. Here's the part that you need to know. So if I was going to click here to download it, I'm just going to make a link and I'm going to link it to some kind of a, an address. Well, that's the big question. Where is that file? And once you know the path to that file, your work is done because it would go right here in the link. So let's talk a little bit about that path. It could be that you've already uploaded your ebook or your zip folder or your exe program or whatever it is you want them to download. And it might be on your website already. If that's the case, then you just need to know where it's stored. So, for example, if you uploaded your file to your domain, it might be stored at yourdomain.com forward slash myebook.pdf or whatever the name of the file is. Or maybe you've stored it inside a folder on your web hosting account. Let's say you've got a folder called Downloads and you've got an ebook called myebook.pdf. If that's the case, then the link that we're going to put in this click here text is going to be yourdomain.com forward slash downloads forward slash myebook.pdf. Okay, but that's if you already have it on your hosting account. Now, for those of you that don't know how to do that or haven't done that yet, the good news is 90 Second Website Builder also even allows you to handle that part of the project. So we're going to do that in this video. So let's say I don't have the ebook on my hosting account yet, and I'm going to need to do that first. Here's how you do it. It's actually really great and simple. We go to the site manager and you'll notice there's an icon in the site manager that allows you to insert an external file. You just click this button and when you do, it lets you locate whatever file you want to be the download. In my case, for this demonstration, I created a file called myebook.pdf. Now you'll notice that as I'm searching for the file, it's only looking for HTML files because that's normally what you'd want to insert. But 90 second lets me find any kind of file. And in my case, I've got one that I made just for this video called my ebook. There it is. My ebook, actually, it's actually my ebook.pdf. So I'm going to click that, and you'll see that it's now in my project. Now, it happened to land under this page. I'm going to move it up here so it's not under anything, it's its own file. Okay, so now when I publish my website, this file will go with all of the other files. That's one of the great things about 90 Second Website Builder. It has a built-in publishing program. So now my ebook.pdf will be stored on my website when I publish. And if I want to store it there, then what this link would look like is this. I'm going to create the link. I would go, let's just make it website so we get this HTTP thing. Here I'd put my domain, whatever it is. I'm just making this one up, of course. And then I would put forward slash, as you can see, my ebook.pdf. PDF. Now, once my site is published, anybody that clicks on this link would go to my ebook.pdf. And as you know, PDF files automatically open for people because it's opened by Acrobat. And most people, 99% of people, have Acrobat Reader on their computer. If that was an EXE file I had sent them to, it would prompt them to download it. If it was a zip folder, it would prompt them to download it. But PDFs just simply open up for people who are running Acrobat. So, anyway, that's how you link to the file. But of course, the file needs to be there. So, I'd have to publish all of this, and then this link would work. This is not something you can preview and have work because this link is looking for a file on that domain, on that website. So I would publish this and test it. But before we do that, I'm going to show you another variation. 
Let's say I want to store my ebook inside a folder. What if I'm going to have several ebooks or I just want to organize my downloads better? Well, one of the things I can do is I can create a folder and put my ebooks inside that folder. And I'm going to do that here. Now, this is the icon for creating a new folder, but you'll notice it's grayed out. Well, that's because I'm not, I haven't selected the project. 90 Second wants to know where I want to put this folder. Well, I want to put it in, within this project called Greg's Demo. Now I can create a new folder and it appears. I also want to rename it. I don't want to call it Folder 1. I'd rather call it something like Downloads. Okay, so now I've got a folder, an empty one, but that's where my ebooks are going to be stored. Well, how do I put it in there? Well, as you would guess, you drag and drop it. Okay, so now my site structure has changed. I now have a folder called Downloads, which contains a file called myebook.pdf, which means if somebody's going to download this, this link would no longer work, would it? I've got to change this to reflect the new path to that file. So I'm going to, I selected it and I'm going to create the link. I need to change this. It needs to look like this. I put the domain, whatever it is, forward slash download because it's in a folder called downloads, forward slash my ebook.pdf. Now that's the correct link to download this file. I would then click OK to save that. I would then save my project, of course. Remember to always save your project before you upload it. After I've saved it, I would publish or upload, and this is how my download link would work. So all you really need to know to make a download link is you just need to know where the file is stored on the server. That's all you really need to know to make a download link. And of course, that file needs to be there. So if you haven't uploaded it by some other means, whether you've used your control panel, your file manager, or some other FTP application, if you haven't done that, you can use 90 Second Website Builder to publish it by putting it in the site manager and then publishing all of your website to your hosting account. And that's it. That's how you make a download link. It's super easy.